G Idol. Yashuhua has always been controversial in everything she does, which is the cause of arguments in the K pop community. Her bold and unique personality will make you think is she savage or is she just simply rude? Tune in to find out. Yashuhua is the maknae or the youngest member of Cube Entertainment's fourth generation girl group, G Idol. She's drawn attention for her visuals and was dubbed everyone's first love because of her innocent and elegant looks, even without wearing any makeup. When asked why she doesn't wear makeup that much, Shuha replied, I don't dress up much, but I do check myself in the mirror, comb my hair, and dress neatly before going out, because it's comfortable like that. G Idol is known for having strong looks and image on stage, so a bare faced Shuha who communicates with fans through SNS is quite new and fresh to the fans' eyes. Aside from being known for their chick and hip image, G Idol is also a group that has members with diverse personalities as they came from different backgrounds and nationalities. Sa Yun and Mi Yeon are from Korea, Minnie is from Thailand, Yuki is from China, and Shu Hua is from Taiwan. Maybe this is the reason why they create a different synergy compared to other K pop groups. Everyone has something unique to offer to the group, but is being unique a good thing most of the time? You might have mixed reactions once you've discovered how Shuhua's unique personality made her the most controversial member of G Idol. Shuhua is not your typical K pop idol. She's bold and she has no filter when it comes to speaking her mind. Multiple times, she would respond to haters and even fans in a sarcastic way. One time, while she's with two other members doing flower arrangements during a live, a fan jokingly commented that their hands hurt from pressing the heart too much, to which she replied, So what? Our hands hurt too. Not even showing a smile. Not just that, Shua also has strong opinions about sensitive issues. Like that one time when she showed support for a fan who was troubled for having feelings to someone of the same sex. It could receive favorable reactions but probably not in front of the conservative Korean audience. For some, these personalities might be a good thing, but it may also come off as rude and display a know-it-all attitude. One fan even concluded that Shuha is consistently doing all this to maintain a certain image. It says, I think the reason why she sticks with her savage image is the fact that people started saying a lot of positive things about her clapping back at haters. So she of course likes the fact that she's praised for it. I think that's why she started to be savage as often as possible. However, Shuwa's unique personality is not the main reason why she gets all the hate from a lot of people. This may sound petty, but she gets hate for having too little or zero lines in G-Idol songs. It has been quite a hot topic among netizens and even fans since their debut. Shuwa's fans' perspective focused their blame on the leader, Sa Yen, as she takes most of the credits of songwriting and producing from their songs. On the other hand, a lot of people pointed out Shuwa's lack of singing, dancing, and even Korean speaking skills. To have a better understanding, why don't you see for yourself? During the 2020 KBS Gaia de Chukji, Shuha performed with four other generation girl group magnates, including Ives Jang Won Young, Oh My Girls Aaron, and Itzy's Yuna. It was very evident how she made a lot of mistakes in the choreography. It received a lot of backlashes from the viewers that even Shuha doesn't want to watch her own performance. In terms of her singing skills, she was called tone deaf multiple times. Whenever she sings on a live stream, like when she sang Lee His Breathe, A Pink's I Don't Know, and Jay Cho's Confession Balloon. Shuha's poor singing was even more highlighted when G Idol guested on Yo Hi Yol's Sketchbook, a show that focuses on artists' vocal singing skills as they have to sing with a live band with no backtrack. Netizens left comments like, I know Shuha is still working hard, but it's still better for her fans to stop defending her. Shuha clearly needs more practice, but Cube let her debut too soon. And whether she sings in Korean or in Chinese, her voice sounds equally bad, so it's not because of her pronunciation, even when she's not a rookie anymore. Being pointed out for the lack of talent, many people were asking why did even Cube Entertainment debut Shuha? It's obvious how she's behind in every scale compared to other foreign members like Yuki or Minnie. There were also rumors going around that Sa Yen particularly chose her to be part of the group. What could be her reason? Is Shuha added for variety purposes like a life of the party within the group? Han Chu Wan, another Cube trainee who gained popularity in the Idol Survival show Produce 48, was even named to be a better choice than her. But to be fair, Shuha actually has a critical role in G Idol. She attracts many fans with her unique personality. A lot of people may not like it, but there are some who likes it very much. It inspires them and makes them happy. You may not understand her most of the time. Yes, like that one time she posted a picture of her toilet after defecating. But there are some who does. 
whatever she was reasons are in doing what she does, you must be proud of her for holding out up to this day. Dealing with the public's eye and opinion is not an easy task. She's young, everyone should be reminded of that. And she's still in the process of maturing and learning. Eventually, she'll realize what she did wrong or what she didn't regret doing. So, what do you think of Shua's unique personality? Let me know in the comments section. Until next time!